Hi, welcome to the Core 24 Fitness Channel. I'm Katie Zeth here today to do with you a functional intensity workout. We're gonna to start today with a series of dynamic warm-ups. You're gonna start with your feet a little wider than hips distance, toes turned out. We're gonna do 30 seconds of body weight squats. I want you to sit back, release your hips back. You're gonna keep your lower back arched, side view. Just gonna to try to keep that lower back in a slight arch. Keep your knees behind your toes. As you're getting warmed up, if you don't want to go quite as low, you don't have to in round one of the warm-ups. If you can, though, sink those hips down. Start to get some blood flow in those legs. After 30 seconds, we're going to do a foot grab. Pull your foot behind you. A nice stretch in that quad and release. Notice you're keeping your knees close together as you grab your foot. If you're unable to grab your foot, if you don't have that flexibility, then you can just bring your foot as close to your butt as you can until you feel a stretch in your quad. Next up, we're going to do side lunge shifts. Now my feet are wider than hips distance. My toes are now facing forward. Shift my hips side to side. I'm going to push my butt back until I feel a good stretch in my inner thigh. Now I'm stretching my inner thigh and I'm warming up my leg and hip as I stretch the inner thigh. And next we're gonna stretch our hips a little bit more with a figure four foot grab. You're gonna grab your shin and your foot, pull it up. Each time I pull my foot up, I'm also trying to rotate my knee out. And this way I can get into the hip a little bit more. Pull as high as you can. Give about five more seconds. And next I'm going to do an inchworm. You're going to bend your knees just a little bit and reach for the floor. If you can't get to the floor, you can bend your knees a little bit more. If you can, you're trying to keep your knees pretty straight. Just a slight bend. You're going to walk out into a plank position and walk your hands back and stand up. I'm going to do a few of these. Okay. Next we're going to do a 30 second jog. Just going to jog in place. Get your heart rate up a little bit. If you do not like high impact activity, here you can just march. Five more seconds of a jog. And that's round one of the warm ups. Those dynamic warm ups can be looped up to three times. I want you to feel warm when you start the workout. So if you'd like to do this up to three times, you can uh, repeat the beginning of this video and do that again. If you do feel warm, you're going to get started on the functional training workout. Today's workout involves the use of a kettlebell. Um, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do most of these exercises with a medicine ball or a dumbbell. We're going to start today with 30 seconds of a kettlebell overhead press. So we're going to bring that kettlebell up over our ears. I'm holding the ball of the kettlebell. Some people prefer to turn it this way when you press. It's a little bit more difficult. You can decide how you want to do that. So we're doing this for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do a little break, about 15 seconds, and we'll start our next exercise, which is going to be jumping jacks. So if you are able to, we're going to do 30 seconds of regular jumping jacks. If this seems a little too hard for you, you can do a low impact jumping jack. Just make sure when you put your kettlebell down, 
it is away from your feet. Sounds simple, but when you're in a confined space in your home, you could trip on that kettlebell. Okay, we're gonna take 15 seconds to rest again before we start our next kettlebell exercise, which is going to be an upright row. For an upright row, it's important that we do a little bit of a shrug first. So you're gonna bring your shoulders up and then lead with your elbows till you pull the kettlebell right under your chin. So we're gonna start 30 seconds now. Shrug and pull. You don't have to completely separate these movements, but you do want to initiate each pull with a shrug. And again, leading with your elbows all the way up to the kettlebell is just under your chin. About five more seconds. And now you're gonna take your 15 second rest. And we're gonna start our next cardio exercise, a split jack. So for a split jack, some people call it a skier. You're gonna shift opposite arm, opposite leg into a little jump. Start. If this is too hard, I want you to do a single leg tack up. This is our low impact. This is our high impact. And stop. Okay, we have a 15 second break before we do our kettlebell halos. <clears throat> For a kettlebell halo, we're going to hold our kettlebell and circle around our head like a halo. And we're gonna alternate the direction that we move it in. We can start now. 30 seconds around our head. When you do this, you'll feel all your muscles tighten up, especially in your core and your arms. We do this for about 15 more seconds. And take our 15 second break. The next exercise we're going to do is called a seal jack. It's just a jumping jack. We're going to open up and close our arms like a seal. Getting a little bit, little chest involved. Begin. And just as we would with any modified jack, if you need to jack with no impact, you can tap your foot out and still continue to do the arms. 15 more seconds of a seal jack. And take your rest. Okay. The next exercise we're going to do with the kettlebell is an over the top. You're going to start the kettlebell up one shoulder, bring it up and over to the other shoulder. You can begin. Kind of like the kettlebell halo, you should be feeling a little core work as you do your shoulders here. A little bit of both. And that's what these functional training workouts are all about. It's getting a lot of muscles involved moving in a very functional way. Okay. Now, we're gonna move into a more advanced version of the split jack. It's gonna be a jumping lunge. This, you can vary the depth and make it more or less difficult. Jumping lunge. Side view, my front knee is never passing my toe as I drop that back leg. A jumping lunge is pretty advanced, so if you can't do that, you're gonna go back to the split jack or the single leg tap out. And rest. Okay, you have 15 seconds there. We're going to go into another kettlebell exercise. This one's going to be belly to back. And then the belly to back, 
So as we take that kettlebell from your belly up overhead to your back. Start now. 30 seconds. Definitely feel my core on this one. Little triceps, shoulders. And relax. And the last exercise we're gonna do in this round one of the functional intensity workout is a squat jump. So remember your squat form from warm up where we shift our hips back. We're gonna jump at the top as high as we can, 30 seconds. Don't worry about getting too high if you can't. You might just fake it, kind of pop up off your toes. The squat's the important part. And if you're advanced, you want to jump as high as you can. 10 seconds. And break. Okay. So now what you're going to do is take a 30 second break, get a sip of water. And now, we just did those first exercises each for 30 seconds with a 15 second break. In this next round, I want you to do it 15 seconds longer. You can do 45 seconds of each exercise. And you're gonna take a short 15 second break again. After round two, during which you did the 45 seconds and the 15 seconds off, you're gonna take another 30 second break and do your lightning round three. Round three is 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. As the interval shrinks down to 20 seconds, which is the shortest interval you will have done in your functional intensity workout, you want the intensity level to increase. So you only have 20 seconds to do each exercise. Make the most of it. That's supposed to be your highest intensity. You're completely warmed up. You have phase into your workout. That is supposed to be the highest intensity of your three rounds. When you're finished with all three rounds, we suggest you do a static stretch, which are included in your videos or any static stretch you're comfortable with. And uh, this functional training type of workout could be done uh, several times a week, you know, up to five or six times a week if you choose. Hope you enjoyed your workout. Have a great day.